Daddy, there is no one like you, our God. Give you praise tonight. Give you all the adoration, Daddy. Be exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your awesomeness. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for upholding your word in our lives. We appreciate you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, I thank you for giving me the grace to stand before you these three days, Daddy. Standing before you for my children. Lord, I appreciate your name. Somebody bless his name tonight. Thank him for giving us the enablement to stand before him. Lord, we bless you for accepting us in his presence. Lord, we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Be seated, brethren. Every sin in my life that will cut me off from your covenant. Father, forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, forgive, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on me, Daddy. Have mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy, Daddy. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Every sin in my life, every blemish in my life, that will cut me off from your presence, that will make you not to hear me tonight. Father, forgive, O oh Lord. Have mercy tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When there is sin in the life of somebody or in a family, that family will be laboring outside the will of God for their life. Somebody pray. Every blemish in my life that will make you not to hear me, that will make you not to regard me tonight. Father, forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, the blemish in my life, the blemish in my life, that will make you not to hear me. Father, forgive, O oh Lord. What has my family done? That has made us cast away from your presence. Father, forgive us tonight. I have come pleading for mercy tonight. Father, forgive us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive, O Lord. Forgive, O Lord. Forgive, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In every part of the world, every part of the world when there is power in the hand of somebody or some people usually the power moves them to do what they are not supposed to do that is why you find some lineages royal lineages that cannot be king anymore in that same city what their forefathers did was considered an abomination so that person's lineage became cast away it's not just in africa it's all over the world yes if you read history you will find that there are families like that now something happened in the time of king david there was a plague in the land and david sought the face of the lord and the lord said it is because of saul that he killed gibeonites yes he killed members of those power family now gibeonites were not israelites they were strangers it was Joshua that pardoned them 
from being killed. So they were living inside the country. But they were living there as servants. Because Joshua caused them. He said they are hewers of wood and fetchers of water in the temple of his God. Somebody, every cause in the life of my children. I have come to stand against them today. Every cause in my life that is also manifesting in the life of my children. Stand to your feet. Cry, Father. Ah, somebody, Father. Every cause in my life that is stretching to the life of my children. Daddy, I have come to stand against them tonight. Father, let them be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cause operating in my life. Every cause operating in my life that is stretching to the life of these children. Father, from my life and my children's life, Father, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying in that prayer? Are you praying in that prayer? Father, let them be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed. I have come standing in your presence tonight for myself and my children. Father, destroy causes out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So, David called the Gibeonites. Sit down. And said, what do you want? So that this cause can be taken away from Israel. And they said, we don't want anything. Only give us 70 of the sons of Saul. The strange thing about it is, they said that we might hang them before the Lord. Can you imagine? To hang them where? Before the Lord. They were pained by their losses. So they wanted a revenge. And they took the children of Saul. Every blood that is, that is crying over my life. Crying over my children's life. Father, tonight, let your mercy erase them in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Every blood crying over my life. Crying over my children's life. Father, let your mercy erase them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Every blood crying over my life. And crying over the life of my children. Father, let your mercy erase them tonight. Father, let your mercy erase them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, arise, O oh Lord. Help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let mercy speak for me and my children. Ah, Daddy, let mercy speak for me and my children. Let mercy speak for me and my children. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. If you have seen people, who have been in business that destroy lives. Sit down. If you see them and their children, at the initial stage, they may look like they are doing well. But as those blood, you see, because many people don't know, Life is in seasons. When the season for vengeance comes, the blood will start crying over them and their children. And they will begin to wonder what is happening. Why is this thing so? 
sir. The things that are happening in my life. That I have no answer for. <laughs> Question that is being asked over my life. That I have no answer for. That is now manifesting in the life of my children. Jump to your feet, shout, Father. You have the answer already. Father, answer them tonight in your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ah, every question that my life is being asked that I have no answer for that is now stretching to the life of my children. Father, I bring them before you tonight. You have answer for them already. You answer them on the cross. Father, let that answer on the cross. Speak for me and my children tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody pray. That answer on the cross, daddy. The answer on the cross. The answer on the cross. Somebody cry the answer on the cross. Let you speak for me and my children tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let you speak for me and my children, oh Lord. Let you speak for me and my children. Let you speak for me and my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? The answer on the cross. That my parents had no answer for. That I have no answer for. Ah, that is stretching to the life of my children. Father, tonight, you have answered them already on the cross. Let that answer speak for me. Let that answer speak for me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it speak for my children, O oh Lord. Let it speak for my children, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer, somebody? Are you praying that prayer? Let that answer speak for my children, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. That answer that you have given on the cross. Father, let it speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down, God bless you. When Jesus was on the cross at Gogota, every murder that was committed from Cain and Abel up until that day it was Jesus that committed it every mother that was committed from that day till rapture it is Jesus that committed it everything that was stolen and the ones that will be stolen everyone that was insulted cheated abused maligned backbeaten whatever that has been done it was jesus that did it because the bible says woe unto him that hung on the tree that was why they did not allow jesus to hang on the tree till tomorrow morning he was brought down at night because the land will be polluted somebody stand to your feet tonight every pollution in my life every pollution in my life ah somebody does not understand this prayer you don't understand <laughs> every pollution in my life that is now operating in the life of my children father because you have answered them already let that answer speak for me and my children tonight in the mighty name of jesus pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody every abomination every pollution every taboo every contamination that has entered into my life that is now operating in the life of my children ah father tonight the answer on the cross ah father the answer on the cross the answer on the cross let it speak for me and my children in the mighty name of jesus ah father let it speak for me and my children 
in jesus mighty name we have prayed let me give you this bonus somebody say bonanza sit down god bless you every money that was owed from adam <laughs> to that night at gogota it was jesus that borrowed the money if you can understand this if you can catch this rema your story will change every money that is owed from that night at gogota until rapture it was jesus that took the debt hey pastor this is heretical heretics <laughs> Is that not so? If you can catch this rema. Even that bank loan. The one that EFCC is pursuing you around for. Yes. It is Jesus that always. All you need is to see yourself where Jesus sees you. Because he took your place on that cross. You can plug your debt on him. <laughs> yes. You can plug it. It's dangerous, Abby. From the time of John the Baptist. Up until 2024. The kingdom of God opened his door to violence. And as many as are violent enough shall take it by force. The debt that is running in my family. My father, oh, He died with it. We children started paying small, small. You couldn't pay. Sir, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Father, the depth that I am worshipping. Do you understand? Somebody that is worshipping death. January to December. He's owing this and that. That was how his father owed to. That was how his father owed to. It was because of death that made his father to move from Okwatari and move down, down, down to Lalukma hiding from creditors he too he didn't move to the village he ran from elasa maja to come and be living inside inside or down so that they will not see him and the daughter too now is buying everything on credit he's not able to pay what is that debt that i am worshiping that has now become an inheritance in the life of my children. Ah, somebody say, Father, every debt that I'm worshipping, that is now becoming a God in the life of my children too, taking his toll over my children. Ah, Daddy, I come against them tonight. As you have paid at Calvary, let that payment speak for me also in the mighty name of jesus ah somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray father let that your payment speak for me in the mighty name of jesus ah somebody shout father you took my place on that cross i have taken your place here every debt that i am paying Ah, daddy, pray for me now. 
clear every one of them now. Whichever way you will do it, you are the only one that knows. Because you said it is finished. Father, finish it for me and my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Father, pray now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, pray now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down. Some people will say, thank God. My father did not pay any business. He did not owe any, he did not owe any debts. But he didn't pay your mother's bride price. It was after you, he died. Your mother's family now said, no. You are not going to bury this man, no. Why? He's a debtor. He's a serious somebody. He's a debtor. You now gathered how much? He said, 70 naira. When I now go change money, 10, 10 naira, 5, 5 naira, now gather it together. Say, everybody must contribute. Do you know that among those children, some people will still refuse to contribute? I'm telling you. You refuse to contribute. And that thing will rub over off on him. He too. Is on the fourth wife. No bride price. See, all like 15 children, not a single one with birth certificate. No. No. You say, what is it? It doesn't matter now. As those children are growing, Ada carry pregnancy. He ran away. Husband ran away. After they reconciled, he's given birth to four children. That one cannot even recognize the father in law. Does not know the father in law. That thing is spreading to the life of the children. Stand to your feet. Every debt my parents left for me. That is just that is just Marita. There are so many, so many kinds of deaths. Some people, as that Baba died, say, ah, how can I tell the children this kind of a thing? Ah, you carry this thing wrong. Well, when I see him for yonder. I'll collect my money for your hand. And the children are servicing those mortgages. Some of the children, their father built a house. So they thought. But he took loan, spiritual loan, from the other side to build that house. The children will just be laboring over the house. Some of them even killing themselves. See, we are 14. We are too many. If you share the house, ah, so me, I will not get only one room. If three of them should die from the other mother's side, it will be two, two rooms, every one of us. In trying to kill those ones, some of them too are dying. So they are paying those loans. Father, the debt that my parents left for me. Ah, that is now stretching to the life of my children. Father, I have come to your presence tonight. Ah, that payment you made at Calvary. Let you speak for me and these children in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody, pray. Ah, Father, let you speak for me and these children, oh Lord. Ah, Father, let you speak for me and these children. Let you speak for me and these children, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord, for my sake. Ah, arise, oh Lord, for my sake. Let you speak for me, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Some carry the young wife of a chief, an elderly chief, from their village. They ran far. <laughs> and that one will look. He has been hearing rumors that this one was running after his wife. The day the wife disappeared, they check in that guy's house. The family too said he was missing. He just go beyond to his shrine. Do some permutations. Fire wala after him. Sir. The man. <laughs> Somebody pray. What is that debt that my ancestor owed? That is raining affliction over my life. And targeting my children now. Father, let it be cut off now in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, pray, somebody. Father, let this debt be cut off now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let it be cut off now. Every kind of debt, monetary debt, eh, marital debt, whatever, 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 whatever. That my parents are owing. Ah, that is laying siege to the life of my children. Laying siege over me and my children. Father, that payment you made on the cross of Calvary. Father, let it speak for me and my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let it speak for me and my children tonight. Ah, Daddy, let it speak for me and my children tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, Daddy. Help me tonight. Arise, Daddy. Help me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Visit me tonight in your mercy. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Father, visit me tonight in your mercy. Visit me and my children in your mercy. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody, visit me and my children in your mercy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? That your mercy, Daddy, the mercy that prevail over judgment, the mercy that prevail over judgment, Father, visit my children with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, visit my children tonight. Visit my children, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Pray that mercy, that mercy, that mercy that speak better things than that of Abel. Father, use it to visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Somebody in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sit down, God bless you. Now, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 31. We'll be reading from verse 1 tonight. But before then, yesterday we talked about certain things that there are 10 things that comes to play to determining those who will survive and those who will not. The victims and the victors, the prey and the predator. And I told us yesterday that that is why the Bible says you are to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Do you know that those that are not strong, they are already doomed. Yes. In every environment on earth, everywhere on earth, those who are not strong, they are praised. In some so-called advanced countries, they will tell you that the law protects the weak 
from the strong. Is that not so? That's what they always say. That the law protect the weak from the strong. Yes. That is what the law is supposed to do. But the law protect the weak from the strong. Only the not very strong. When the strong is very strong, the law everywhere on it specify him for the weak. Am I talking to you? The law will not protect the weak against the very strong. It will only soften the very strong. Say, you know what? Leave him for now. Yes. Don't worry. He will make mistake again. Then you will catch him. Don't forget. Justice. It's not just to be done. It's to be seen to have been done. That is what finished justice. So long as justice is seen to have been done, justice becomes impartial. So when the strong is very strong, the law will pacify him. Therefore, the weak is always a victim. Globally. Not just in Africa, Asia, globally. The weak is just a victim. That is why the Bible says that they that know their God, they will do two things. One, they will be strong. Then two, they will have the capacity to do exploits. And many of us don't understand what exploit is. Let me tell you a little thing about exploit. Exploit can make some to shine in the south. From the south. Instead of from the east. Do you understand it? Tell your neighbor, say, be strong. Tell your neighbor, say, be strong. Sir, be thou not weak at all. Father, because when you are weak, your harvest is troubled. Father, strengthen me for my harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand to your feet and pray that prayer. Father, strengthen me for my harvest in the mighty name of Jesus so that my harvest will not be destroyed, so that my goods will not be plundered. Father, strengthen me for my harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, strengthen me for my harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, because I have come to your presence tonight. Ah, because I have come to your presence tonight. Father, strengthen me for my harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let me give you this simple one. Sit down. A man came to his brother's house and he saw his brother had left his business. He just married a wife. Not, you know, in the days of marry, marry, marry. He just married this current champion. And he left his business that he had been doing for years. Lucrative business. What was he now doing? He was helping this new wife to cut firewood. To cut firewood. That one sells firewood. He now wore one Esiki, only one Dansiki. Day in, day out. Year in, year out. That was what he wore. So the man came first time. He called him, brother. 
What is happening to you? What about your business? That one had no tangible thing to say. Months later, you visited him again. They live in different states. What is happening, brother? He called the wife. The wife said he doesn't know anything. No. Okay. The brother could not even recognize himself seriously again. He had turned robotic. He had become a robot. Sir, the next time the man came, he did not speak to the man, to his brother. He called the wife. Said, Mama so so. The next time I come here and I meet my brother like this, I will kill you and him. <laughs> and he left. From that day, that man gained freedom. The money that was not available, the wife gathered it. Maybe he used another soap to buy for him again. No. The man brain turned around again. He went back to his business. Started afresh again. Somebody, there is a deliverance my life needs. From the hand of strong men, strong women. Ah. <laughs> that are using me. And attempting to use my children. Stand to your feet and say, Father, let that deliverance come tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, pray. Father, the deliverance my life need. Ah, Father, let it come tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. From the hand of those strong men, strong women. That are capturing me. And attempting to capture my children too. Ah, Father, let that deliverance come tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Father, let that deliverance come. Whichever way you will do it, in any way you will do it, Father, do it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do it tonight, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Sit down for a while. Always observe your life. Yes. January to December. What and what are you able to point at as your achievement? January to December. As people are preparing to shout Happy New Year, Sit down. Go through your life. Do you know the policy I gave myself? Many years ago, I told myself that I will not spend more than four years in any house, even if I'm the owner. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? It means I'll build new houses every four years. Until God arrested me. And I went into ministry. So my target changed. Because I don't know, I don't know longer run after money. But then I was running after money. So I retired from business. 15th of November, 2028. I stopped working for money. Praise the Lord. You can have that kind of understanding too. If you are in a place for years, no appreciable achievement, pack out of that house. Don't live in that house again. Praise the Lord. So you do this business. Let me tell you this one. A friend of mine, when I was going into business, I wanted to rent my first shop. He had at that time about six shops. My friend. 
So I now ask him, how do you determine a good shop that is spiritually? He said, well, Bisoe, any shop where you did, from January to December, when you know if you give your landlord Christmas chicken, a useless house, no pack of money. <laughs> Is that not crazy? <laughs> yes. But it spoke to me. That thing he said spoke to me. And if I stay in a shop January to December, and I'm not buoyant enough in that place, in that business I say I'm doing. To give my landlord a Christmas chicken, which is less than one month's rent. It's less than one month's rent. Sometimes less than half of a month's rent. Then there is a problem with me or with that place. One of us need to change. Or we need to call ourselves and hold a meeting. Me and that place. Me and that shop, we should hold a meeting. It sounds crazy to you. But it worked for me at that time. Picture these things in your life. January to December. Your last birthday. Your this year's birthday. Your son's last birthday. Your daughter's last birthday. This year's birthday. If what has changed is just the size of clothes they are wearing, you know, there is a problem. There are things you are supposed to do that you did not do. Why? In 365 days, there is no way God will not have spoken to you. Either in dreams, in vision, through the message passed by pastor. You didn't act on it. Or you didn't understand it. So, man strategize towards the next year be more attentive to leading be more observant to things around your life and you will realize that there will be changes yes americans say today's winner is yesterday's loser who went crazy you will not be a loser anymore. Father, strengthen me tonight. <laughs> Father, strengthen me for my harvest. So that I will not labor in vain anymore. You know the disaster. This little thing I have told you. Save this video. Save it. Watch it again and again. This little thing I have, sh I have shown you. If you imbibe it into you so much... Your children will start imbibing it too. They will start having timetable for their achievements. That before June, I will have done this. Before August, I will have done this. That thing serves two purposes. The first one, it gives you the mind of an achiever. The second thing, you will not believe this one. It makes you to live long. Yes. Everybody that has pursuit, they don't die. <laughs> Even those that have terminal ailments. I'm telling you. Death is always far from them. Why? He has planned for 15 years already. <laughs> what he's going to do next tomorrow, he has planned it. 24 hours. He's too short for him. <laughs> so he's looking for another extra hour tomorrow. Before daybreak tomorrow, he has started running. Every day he's pursuing after his goal. And this person is now also committed to Jesus. Where will death come from? I read the story of a man. He worked in the same company, transport company. I think either in England or in America. I can't remember now. He worked there for 75 years. Yes, he started as a young boy. 75 years. Now, at 100, he now retired from that same company. He was LDO. 
He died that month. He did not last 30 days after retirement. You can Google it. I've forgotten his name. He did not last. If he had remained in that company, he might have lived for another 20 years extra. The Lord will strengthen you. I, I, I said the Lord will strengthen you. And your harvest will not fail. Somebody jump to your foot and say, Father, as I partake of this water tonight, Father, strengthen me for my harvest. Everything fighting my harvest over my life and in the life of my children. Father, let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, pray, pray, pray. Everything fighting my harvest. Ah, as I partake of this water tonight, Ah, as I partake of this water tonight, whatever that is fighting my harvest, in my life and in the life of my children, Father, let it dissolve in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, let them be destroyed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, arise, O oh Lord. Help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, Daddy. Help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord. Help me tonight. Strengthen me for my harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. As I labor in the life of this one, this one, this one. Ah, Father, let my harvest over them not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? 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 Father, as I labor in the life of this one, as I labor in the life of this one, this one, this one, mention their names, mention their names. Ah, my harvest over there. Father, let it not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Ah, pray, somebody. Father, let my harvest not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my harvest not fail, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Hey, everything in the life of these children. The covenant in the life of these children. That will fight against my harvest. Father, as I buff him, buff her tonight. Let that covenant be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. As you partake of this water tonight. Hey, Father, let that covenant be dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody pray. Ah, pray, somebody pray. Pray, somebody pray. Yes, whatever it is that is in their life, that we fight against my harvest, Father, destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Ah. You say you will fight against my enemies. That you will be an enemy unto my enemies. An adversity unto my adversaries. Father, fight everything that fight against my harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Ah, Father. Whoever will join himself with my children. That will make my harvest to be lost. Father, even from today. Let that my separation come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, pray, somebody, pray, somebody. And to my dada for more and more me. To my Jackie, go to your sofa. Uluwalato, no epiwaniya. Father, let that separation come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Are you praying that prayer? In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. The death that my partner is owing. They say, That will make me to lose my harvest over my children. Every death that my husband, my wife is owing. That will make me to lose my harvest over these children. Hey, Father, counsel me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Ah, Father, counsel me tonight. 
Yes, every debt my husband, my wife is owing. Ah, yes, that will rob me of my harvest in the life of my children. Father, tonight, let that debt be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Whatever contribution that I have entered into, ah, that will rob me of my harvest in the life of my children. Hey, Father, cancel me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Ah, somebody pray. Every contribution that I have entered into, or that I will enter into, that will rob me of my harvest in the life of my children. Ah, Father, scatter it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, scatter it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Help me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Every strong man, strong woman that want to use my children for contribution. Ah, every strong man, strong woman targeting my children for contribution. Father, offer them for sacrifice for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Pray, strong man, strong woman, anywhere that is wanting to use my children for sacrifice. Father, offer them for sacrifice for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray, every occultic person, occultic man, occultic woman, offering my children for sacrifice, using, wanting to use my children for contribution. Ah, Father, tonight, offer them for sacrifice for me. As I attach to your altar tonight, as I have come attaching my children to your altar, Father, offer them for sacrifice, every one of them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray somebody, pray somebody, pray somebody, pray somebody, pray somebody. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Whatever my children have eaten, ah, Father, whatever my children have eaten, that will make them a victim to strong man, strong woman. Father, tonight, as they partake of this water, let that be purged out of their system in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody pray. Ah, somebody pray. Whatever I have eaten myself that will make me to die before my harvest. Hey, hey, are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, whatever I have eaten that will make me to die before my harvest. Father, as I partake of this water tonight, let it be purged out of me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Are you praying that prayer? In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Pray this one again. Whatever is in my life that will make me to die before my harvest. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? Do we? Whatever is in my life, let me tell you. Some people, them on a head, head, You know they chop affairs, so yes, because in their lineage, it is when the child collects salary and is coming back home. To come and take us. Oh, I'm going to give my mom a big treat tonight. Accident can collect the boy. The mother may suffer heart attack. Or the father. It will not be my portion in Jesus' name. I heard the story of M.K. Abiola. So when they got a job as an accountant, the late M.K. Abiola, a loot. When he collected the salary, the mother was in the hospital. He was running to the hospital to go and take care of his mom. The mother had died before he got there. 
Whatever is in my life. That will make me to die before my harvest. Ah, are you ready to pray? Shout, Father, destroy it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody pray. Pray, Father, whatever is in my life. That will make, make me to die before my harvest. Father, destroy it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, destroy it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, destroy it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? Ah, are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Father, destroy it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed, O oh Lord, tonight. Let it be destroyed, O oh Lord, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down. As you were praying that prayer, many of us would think it is death that can make somebody to lose harvest. It's not only death. Sometimes it is anger. Anger. That child just did something. The father flare up. Begin to talk. Ah, our children are here. There are some things I will not be able to tell you in their presence. By the time we get to women in the gap, I'm men of honor. I'll be able to say it. Sir. Hmm. You know you have had the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. Have you heard of it? Do you know it applies to parenting too? It applies to parenting too. As the child grows, the cooler it becomes. There are certain anger that are not voiced anymore. Am I talking to you? There's certain anger that are not voiced anymore. If they are going to come out of your mouth, it's going to come out when the anger has subsided. It now comes out as correction. But she has so. You think say you go get husband with all this rubbish where they do? That one now waited 33, 34 years. You are a witch. Which boy will marry you with all this nonsense? Now look at it. If devil want to catch you, the guy that was Aina in our office that week, that one cut off from her. See, definitely. My mother said on Saturday, on Monday, this one did. And then on Thursday, I saw another babe from another company come and visit him. Definitely. My mother is. My father is. You see how that is going, Saku? Every circle of evil that will work against my harvest. Are you still here? Father, every circle of evil that is working against my harvest, ah, I bring every one of them to judgment before you tonight. Ah, I bring every one of them to judgment before you tonight. Father, destroy it now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Ah, somebody pray. Every circle of evil that will rob me of my harvest. That is working against my harvest in the life of these children. Ah, Father, because I have come to your presence tonight. Father, let them be destroyed now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let every one of them be destroyed. Let every one of them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody gather your children, we are driving home. Gather your children quickly, we are driving home. Gather your children quickly, say, Father. Ah, Father. I present this one, this one, this one before you tonight. Father, whatever we work against my harvest. 
Father, destroy it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray somebody. Pray somebody. I present this one, this one, this one before you, Daddy. Whatever we work against my harvest in the life of this one, Father, destroy it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, destroy it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. I will be here on Sunday to redeem this boy, redeem this girl from untimely death, from sicknesses. Mention those things you don't want in his life. Mention those things you don't want from poverty, from failure. Yes. Mention those things. As I redeem them, Daddy, let them be redeemed, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove them from every negative covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. I'm coming on Sunday with that sacrificial offering that you, my God, has commanded to redeem my son, my daughter from every generational plague, from every yoke in the land, from every affliction, from every sickness, from every lack, every limitation, Father, let them be redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let every one of them be redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, prove yourself in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. If you are seeking fruit of the womb, as a man or woman, you know where to touch. If your wife is here, go and meet her. If your husband is here, meet him. And pray, Father, I am here this year. <laughs> Redeeming this, my son, my daughter. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. And you are not yet pregnant, though. <laughs> is that no madness? But you see, hmm, the matter of the cross is insane to those that are perishing. Talk to him as you are redeeming that child. Some of us will even say, Where is the husband? Where is the wife? God knows that it takes two to tango. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, whatever it will cost you. Ah, that will make me come back next year. Bearing my own baby. Talk to him about it. If you are standing in the gap for somebody who is not here, mention the name of that person. Yes, she is coming back here next year. Bringing her own baby. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Mention that person's name. Mention that person's name. See, I will bring her here next year. I will bring him here next year. Yes, bearing his own baby, our own baby. Talk to God, we are round enough. Talk to God, we are round enough. Talk to God, we are round enough. We will take one hymn tonight. Blessed Assurance, that's the hymn. Choir, please prepare. Do we have it? Even if it is one or two verses of it, we are going to take it. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Are we ready? Are we ready? Still stay together. I didn't say you should go. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Hold those children. In Jeremiah chapter number 31. We started from verse 1. We couldn't read it, but I know you have read it today because it was in the platform. Now, this is where we are going tonight. Hallelujah. Let's read from verse 7. For thus said the Lord, sing with gladness for Korem and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Korem. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coasts of the earth and with them the blind and the lame the woman with child and her that traveled that are traveled with child together 
a great company shall return to that. That is the promise of God for us. I can't dwell on it now, maybe tomorrow if I have the time. Because we are coming back tomorrow evening to dance. Praise the Lord. It is called victory dance. We have done it before. So throughout tomorrow, we are going to be just be singing and dancing to God. We are going to be singing and dancing. And God will release that favor to you. If you know if you refuse to say amen, it's what I know. It will be released to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, this is your amen. It will be released to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, they shall come with weeping and with supplication will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble. For this is where we are going. I am a father to Korem. And what is the name of that your child? Is my firstborn. Do you understand it? God is taking over these children. In Genesis chapter 49, you remember the story of Jacob and Ephraim and Manasseh with Joseph. How he crossed the sands over them. Understand? This is what God is referring to here. That claiming that Jacob claimed him free is what God is repeating today. Father, I present these children to you today. What do you want in their life? I'm still coming back on Sunday to redeem them. This is what I want you to do for me. Talk to him. Talk to him we are rounding off. Talk to him we are rounding off. Talk to him. Talk to him. Quickly, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Let's begin to round off. Let's begin to round off. I have come to dedicate him before you today. Father, this is what I want in his life. Let this be done in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be done, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to round off. Let's begin to round off. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You can go to your seat now. Is the choir ready? Let's quickly take the hymn so that we can round off. Even if it is just two verses. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Do we have it? Okay. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. I just had the hymn. I just had it. Let's package our offering. Let's package our offering quickly.